Let's talk about scholarly journals. Sometimes referred to as academic journals or scientific journals, these sources offer a wealth of credible information on a variety of topics. Articles that appear in journals are generally written by scholars or experts in an academic or professional field and are written for other scholars in that field. They may report original research or cover high, highly specialized topics and provide in-depth analyses. Articles that are peer-reviewed go through a process where they are reviewed by other experts on the topic before they are published in a journal. Scholarly articles are excellent sources for students to help them understand the topic and the process of academic discourse. The authors are always named and their credentials and affiliations are usually listed. They are not journalists or employed by the journal. They are professors, scientists, researchers, or experts writing about their research findings. The articles are longer than magazine and newspaper articles, sometimes 20 pages or more. Scholarly journals may have graphs and charts, but usually don't have glossy advertisements. Their titles often include terms like journal, quarterly, studies, bulletin, or review, but not always. They provide bibliographies of references used in preparing the article and resources for further study. Let's take a look at one to help you understand how to recognize them. This is a citation of a journal article from our JSTOR database. This citation yields a lot of clues about the article. You'll notice the title is very specific and covers a specialized topic. There are two authors listed. Unlike magazines or newspaper articles, there's usually more than one author, and the authors are listed. The title of the source is Family Relations. I can search to see if this is a journal. The page numbers indicate that this article is 14 pages long, which is longer than a magazine or newspaper article. All of these clues indicate that this is a scholarly journal article. Let's take a look at the article itself for more clues. The first thing you'll notice is the appearance of the article. It is very plain with no ads or images. The author's names and credentials are listed. These authors are affiliated with universities and are not employed by the journal Family Relations. This article contains an abstract, which is a short description about the article provided by the authors. Abstracts are very common in scholarly journals and help the reader decide if it'll be helpful. Scholarly journal articles are products of research. You will find a literature review or references to other sources that the authors use to research their topics. This is the benchmark of a scholarly source. This article is part of a scholarly conversation on transracial adoption between experts or scholars in this field. The literature review sets the stage for the authors to demonstrate the importance of their findings and explains how it adds to the body of knowledge in that field. Most scholarly journal articles present original research conducted by the authors. The research is laid out in the article to allow other scholars to examine the validity of their findings. You will usually find a section on the methods used to conduct the research, allowing others to replicate or understand the study. In addition to the methods used to collect the data, the authors will provide the results giving a narrative of the data they collected. They will often provide tables, charts, or figures that depict the statistical significance of the findings. These tables are usually the only graphics present in scholarly journal articles. Acknowledgements about funding for the research as well as help received from students, colleagues, or volunteers are common with scholarly research. Most importantly, authors of scholarly journal articles will provide references or footnotes directing the reader to the sources they use to write the article and develop their research. This places the research within the scholarly conversation in a given field. It is much like the work cited page students create for their own research papers. When students write a research paper, they too are entering in a scholarly conversation with the scholars they consult to help develop a topic. The student's interpretation of the topic and the references to other scholarly sources allows the student to participate in a broader scholarly conversation.